Hello, beautiful people. I'm so sorry, my vlogging challenge has kind of sunk. So I'm trying to catch up. I've sort of dipped out in the last few days. But anyway, today I wanted to talk to you about light. You can see the light making my hair look like it's orange instead of red or pink or whatever it is. Um, so yeah, light is really, really important and everybody I'm sure is loving the sun at the moment, which is fab. Here in London it's been pretty amazing, really warm. Um, I did a photo shoot the other day with the lovely Joanna Briggs. She um, ran a competition on her blog and <clears throat> I was lucky enough to win. And she took some amazing shots in Trent Park, which is um, just near Cockfosters uh, tube station. Uh, it's a massively beautiful big park that my friend Tanya had taken me to and I thought it would be nice to do some shots there in the sunshine, which is amazing. So it was a great chance to get some vitamin D. Um, vitamin D is really, really important for your body to function properly and most people in the UK are vitamin D deficient. Uh, the reason for this is just because you don't get enough sun. Uh, or it's kind of cold here most of the time, so people don't expose their bodies as much. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and it's so important because actually it means that you know you can end up with fatigue and depression. You know symptoms like that when you're vitamin D deficient. Uh, I'll tell you a little story actually about my vitamin D test that I tried to get from my GP. My GP wouldn't give me a vitamin D test. Apparently they don't like to give a vitamin D test because they can be assured that most people will come back with a deficiency. Um, so they wanted to give me a calcium deficiency test. The irony of this is, is that there's basically hardly anyone, I think basically the only people that have been calcium deficient are people who are really on their last legs. Um, so it means that you're unlikely to come up with a calcium deficiency. So then that would ultimately sort of put your mind at ease to say, well, I, well I'm all right, you know, I wouldn't have the vitamin D deficiency. But that isn't true. It's just something that some GPs um, from a business practice, business perspective, uh, for some reason they don't want people to know about this vitamin D uh, issue. But I have noticed a change in the last year or so, maybe a bit longer, that now they're starting to promote taking extra vitamin D. So um, if you don't, you know, if you don't take vitamin D and you don't get much sun, it's something that you should look into um, definitely. In fact, I'll post a link below to the one that I take. Um, and the, anyway, the other thing about light that I wanted to mention is um, the whole subject on light. Sometimes for me, words will come up and um, I like to look at them and see, well, what what does that mean in the context of my life to this day or this week? But lightening up is definitely something that I've noticed um, that needs to happen within myself and within others. I think that lightening up and not taking life so seriously is majorly important in how much happiness you can bring into your life. So ways for you to lighten up would be to go and watch a funny movie or go to a comedy show just get out and have some fun with friends and sort of take your mind away from the daily stresses of your life whether it's um, lack of money, lack of love, lack of, you know, sort of lack. <laughs> so tip number two would be to step back. So Stepping back means instead of being embroiled in the situation that you're in, you're you know right in it, and you're feeling stuck and frustrated, is to try and take a little step back, as if you're sort of looking at yourself and the situation as a whole. Um, I kind of do this by trying to imagine that I'm stepping back in my mind, because when people are stressed, very um, sometimes it's very obvious that they're in the front of their head, you know, they're frowning, see these lots of frowning, um, frowning and rubbing their head, they're getting pains in their head, and a lot of it is just because they're in this part of the brain, and this part of the brain can't cope because this is, it's only basically wanting to um, 
take action on the problem, get it sorted, but it's it it's too limited. It's like you can't see beyond what the problem is. So a good tip is to try and step back in your mind. I imagine that either I'm going it in the back of my head or a lot of the time I prefer to sort of imagine I'm right in the middle where your pituitary gland, um, your pineal gland, sorry, um, is and basically sit in that place and try and see if that takes a little bit of the pressure off. If it doesn't straight away, then just wait until your emotions calm down and then go back to that space. This is why meditation is so good um, and really instantaneous once you practiced for a little bit because it it gives you that space to do that because you're not focused on the problem. You're just letting the thoughts in your mind whiz by. You're looking at them, uh, but you're not engaging in the problem. It's really when you engage in the problem, you just become part of it and the solution evades your consciousness even though it's actually right there you know most of the time the solution um is around the problem <laughs> we're so busy looking at the problem that the solution escapes us um tip three enlightening up would be to do something that you really enjoyed as a child so for me i used to love singing. I think a lot of you know that um, you know I sang for many years in a few bands, um, namely one incognito and I always loved singing and that's why I wanted to study music and I still love doing that you know I sing um, to release emotions actually a lot of the time. <laughs> if I'm feeling low you're more likely to hear me singing but the reason for that is because it, it's an energetic release for me I can just let it all out. Um, and it's much healthier for your body and for everyone else if you sing rather than scream. <laughs> um, and also dancing. I used to love to dance. I, before, um, probably not a lot of people know this, but before I got into singing, I really loved dancing. I used to go to dance in school and every day after school I would come back and I would dance for at least two hours every night and I wanted to be a choreographer. Um, so do something that you love because it takes you back to that moment in your childhood when you were just absolutely free to be whoever you wanted to be. Uh, another thing I used to love to do is to play my friends playing Flower Fairies. That's not something I've gone back to but maybe it's something I should. I actually do have a pair of pink wings. So, <laughs> so maybe in the next video I'll wear those. Um, maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, so just something to think about about enjoying yourself in the sunshine, in the light, and bringing more light into your life by lightening up who you're being, your thoughts, your emotions, and just really enjoying being you. Alright, I shall see you soon. I will catch up in the vlogging, I promise. Okay, bye.